Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Starseeker 4 114 millimeter reflecting telescope. So it's 114 millimeter, that's four and a half inch, on the Starseeker 4 go to mount. So this is our most affordable of the Starseeker 4 line. So it's great for the family if you want to get into, you want to see if you want to get into the hobby, um, have a full go to system, and still have enough aperture to see some nice details in the night sky. Um, a four and a half inch, 114 millimeter telescope like this can easily see the rings of Saturn, moons of Jupiter, and it's big enough to get into a lot of the deep sky objects too. So with the Meze objects, those are 110 of the, the brightest and best of the deep sky objects. You'll see many of those with, with a telescope like this, uh, provided of course you can get away from some of the city lights and the, the light pollution. But the, the main feature of this system is the mount itself, the Star Seeker 4. We have some nice uh, upgrades and features on it. It features uh, solid uh, steel legs, so uh, much more solid and stable than some of the predecessors. Uh, and the biggest difference, well, first of all, it's a, it's a full go-to mount. So you punch in what you want to see, and it'll go to the object, it'll center it, and then it'll continue to follow along as it moves through the night sky. So fully robotic, you don't have to worry about finding those objects in the night sky. It's a two-star alignment. Once you've done, once you've found two stars, it knows where everything is in the sky, and it's very simple. But the biggest advantage to the Star Seeker 4 is the closed loop system. Um, it features dual encoders built into the axes. And what that means is, with a lot of go-to telescopes on the market, once you've done the two-star alignment in the hand controller, if I was to then not use the hand controller and just move the telescope manually like this, the computer would have gotten lost and you'd have to redo the star alignment because it won't know where anything is in the sky. But with that dual encoder system, it does know. So it just knew that I, I moved it around and I'm not pointed at the original object. So let's say I'm looking at Jupiter right here, and then for some reason I wanted to manually move the telescope over this way without using the hand controller. Well, I can just punch in Jupiter here, and it will go back to the original position and recenter Jupiter. So you haven't lost anything, no need to redo the alignment. A big advantage of that is if you wanted to save some of the battery power with the, uh, with the mount. When you're doing a full slew and it's going from one side of the sky to the other, that's where the biggest power drain occurs. Well, you can manually move the scope. So let's say, again, I'm looking at Jupiter here, and then I wanted to look at something on the other side of the sky. Well, I can just manually move it over to about the area that I want to view, lock it back down, and then go to the object here. It'll do the last bit of slewing to find the object. And again, you haven't lost anything, and you've saved some battery power. The telescope itself comes with two eyepieces, a 23 millimeter and a 10 millimeter wide angle design. There's also a finder scope on the side, the Easy Finder. You use that for doing the initial star alignment, the two star alignment. After that, you really don't need to use the finder because the computer is accurate enough to get anything within the field of view of the 23 millimeter eyepiece. All right, well, there you have it the Orion Starseeker 4 114 millimeter reflecting telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.